Now, one of the men charged in the plot was actually pardoned by the governor of Delaware last year. The FBI says 44-year-old Barry Croft is one of the six men charged at the federal level. Delaware News Journal reports he was pardoned for a series of crimes committed in the 1990s. Those crimes include weapons offenses, assault and burglary. Croft was pardoned by Democratic Governor John Carney. Today, Carney called the new charges against Croft disturbing. Militia groups like the Wolverine Watchmen have had an active presence in our state for years. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu takes a look now at why Michigan has been such a hotbed for militia activity. These groups all come together very organically. It's because they believe in the same set of principles or ideas or they have the same goals. Intelligence and national terrorism expert Javed Ali with the University of Michigan says militia groups are heartily a new phenomenon. Armed militia groups they think are engaged in protected activity. They don't see themselves as on the criminal side of the fence or generally they don't come together to plan terrorist attacks either. However, he explains the latest criminal allegations linked to the militia group Wolverine Watchmen could shift the way militias are perceived and operated. It could be a deterrent to those who uh, are already in militias and perhaps thinking of taking similar actions, or it could galvanize people who, who are more on the fence or sitting on the sidelines to to get into the arena. In analyzing the case, Ali said the violent shift being discussed would likely be factored by three key components. Impact of the pandemic, impact of the social justice protests that have emerged over the summer, and political discourse and language and just the state of, of our country on the eve of really important elections. To go from just having grievances to now actually wanting to commit a violent act. And which he says puts an even larger focus on domestic terrorism than before. Things can be very difficult to detect unless like in this case where you have law enforcement on the inside. While he explains there's nothing illegal about being in a militia, Ali says it's evident that federal, state and local powers alike will have to combat the growing issue of domestic terrorism head on. Even though this particular plot was disrupted, thankfully, um, this is not going to be the last time we talk about this, whether in Michigan or anywhere else.